I've just been watching uh, a lot of Eddie videos that they've been posting on social media, and, and working with Eddie was always unbelievable. But I'm just gonna go over the the time that I had to lose, or that they made me believe that I was gonna lose my mask in WCW Halloween Havoc 1997. And my match was against Eddie Guerrero. I was so nervous days prior to that because I didn't think there was a time for me to lose my mask. You know, I still had much more to accomplish as Rey Mysterio. And, you know, I had Eddie's guidance uh, throughout that whole weekend uh, day of the show. I remember uh, it was a final uh decision making on who the winner was going to be and I ended up keeping my mask but because that decision was made last minute there was so much of the match that was already that already had a sequence to it that needed to be changed and I remember telling Eddie Eddie oh my head is I'm I'm lost man I'm I was so caught up with me losing my mask and now you know, we're going another way, and, and everything that that we had already laid out for this beautiful matchup, it, 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 I'm all screwed up. He goes, bro, just listen to me, and kind of slap me in the face. He goes, Wito, just go out there and open your ears up and just listen to me. Bro, I, I went out there. Well, we went out there, and we hit match of the year. So that's that's how much... That's how much uh, of an impact Eddie was, not only on me, but on Chavito, you know, on uh, a lot of people that he was surrounded by, you know, or that he surrounded himself with. He impacted all those people. He definitely, uh, he is missed, man. I wish he was still here.